Hi there, Capricorn. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia, and welcome to a timeless edition, love edition um, of a tarot reading for you. This one specifically, guys, is for those of you who are in a situationship, a relationship, um, could even be a separation here, but a specific person on your mind. Okay, Capricorn, if you are looking for new love or uh, you are single, check out my singles playlist. Um, but like I said, this one's going to be focused on how you feel, how your person feels, and then the combined energy of you both. Please keep in mind, it can flip flop, um, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest, do not force anything to fit. It's still a general reading guys. Okay. Uh, if you, uh, feel guided and you are new to the channel, also go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice. Uh, helping the channel grow is by going, obviously subscribing, but also liking as well. Um, and if you like these styles of readings, you can find more of these uh, on my website at harmoniafriends.com. There is a paid membership group. That paid membership group gives you unlimited access to all of my timeless TLCs that I do by Zodiac Signs as well. All right, guys, let's get started. All right. <clears throat> Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters. As to what messages do we have for <clears throat> Capricorn spirit? What messages do we have for Capricorn in love? What do they need to know about this connection? What do they need to know? Here we go. Hmm. Well, we got codependency here. Feeling a little bit chained. But it's a 32. So to me, something is going to be changing about this situation. But I feel this... There's something in regards to being chained. Now, this could be chained for so many different reasons, guys. So we'll see how the cards play out. But let's see what the challenge is. Capricorn, I'm going to say you're on this side, and this is on your person's side on, on the other one. So flip it if it makes more sense on the other side. Let's see what your challenge is within this dynamic of this connection. Well, moving, moving away. Are you stuck in this connection? Is this a dead end relationship? Is the challenge here now the chariot energy, which is cancer energy, could be dealing with the cancer sign here, Capricorn, is about um, taking control, taking stock. Having the courage here with that lion energy here. Let's see what's on your person's side. There's something in regards to movement or moving on. Maybe you're having a hard time moving on from this connection. Of course, one of the cards fell, so hold on. <laughs> Always the case, right? Justice. Yeah, I feel stuck. Uh, now, this feels like a connection where you two can um, have something tied together. This could be a marriage. All right. But something is coming to light. Notice on this Libra energy here, the blindfold has been taken off. So something has been exposed within this connection. Um, there's something that your person, and this is on their side of how they feel, is they're trying to expose something about you. Interesting. So let's see. Let's put these cards to the side. <clears throat> but it feels to me, Capricorn, that this is a really challenging relationship about moving on, moving forward. How do I move forward? I keep hearing. How do I move forward? Or how do I move out? How do I move out of this connection? Ooh. Hmm. See what the throw cards have to say. Here we go. Well, a lot of fighting going on here. Five of Wands. A lot of emotions coming out, a lot of anger, feeling very stuck. Um, but yet. There is still emotions here when it comes to love. Yeah. It's an opportunity here. And I feel, now this is interesting. 
I don't know if there's been a recent fight or if there has been divorce thrown on the table or separation at the table, but how you feel, and this is on your side, how you feel, Capricorn, you flip it if it's the other way around. But I feel like you were tired of the bare minimum. You were tired of being presented with it's going to get better. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a shiny new bike, right? I don't know if this person makes empty promises to you. But I think that you've had your aha or light bulb moment here that this individual, and I do feel anger. I think you're very angry with this individual here. Could be dealing with a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But there's something in regards to communication. There's something about how your light has turned to anger. And I just feel very angry and upset that you, and it could be this energy of you feeling like you got played, you feeling like, there was always something there, but it never got to it, never got your wish fulfillment. Um, you know, always promise. I just feel like an empty promise. I feel like something here where uh, your person here had a way with words or a way with making promises that they couldn't keep. All right. Um, or they, they really struggle with that. And I think that you're just kind of tired of this individual saying, I'm sorry. Um, let me put some sprinkles on it. Let's make it all better. Because this Ace of Pentacles is about stability. It's like what they offer you. But it's like as enticing as it always is. And this individual does have a way of always enticing it, always sugarcoating, I'm hearing, Capricorn making it better. It's like here, they, they give you something. Now, this is interesting. I feel this energy of giving you something to shut you up. <laughs> All right. Here, let's just have this for now. Let's just patch this up. I'm hearing. <clears throat> now, how your person feels. I feel this energy of feeling very defensive here. All right. Now, this is the seven of wands energy here, but being defensive, feeling like always the bad guy, the bad gal. All right. Now you could be dealing with a water sign here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, other than <clears throat> that Capricorn energy next to you. Uh, but again, I feel like there's something about a bike They're like, and I'm not saying there's a bike in this thing, but it's something about it being shiny, something that this individual knows that they have not been able to fulfill Oh my gosh. Fully be able to invest what they promised. There we go. They also stumble with their words. <laughs> Try to slow down a little bit here. Okay. Now this could have been an instant connection. You could have have a very long-term relationship with this person met at a young age. Uh, some of you is kind of that teenage love here, but I do feel like this is a long-term commitment. I do feel like this person hides their emotions a lot. I do feel that this person, their intention is good, but the problem is, is they can't live up to their promises. And I feel that this person is really sitting in that energy, doesn't necessarily expose all of that, but there's a part of you that wishes this person would take actions. There's a part of you that wishes this person would just be more honest with what they can provide or what they can offer into this relationship. Because I feel like whenever there's something to be discussed, it's patched up. It's, it's thrown under the rug. I'm hearing. Yeah. Six of cups or six of pentacles. So, this is about fairness coming together. It's like, I'm sorry, let's, let's, let's make men's right. Let's do it. And it, it does work for a little bit. I do feel like Capricorn, it does work for a little bit, but then as things move on, it says here, there be monsters. All the red flags start coming back up again. Six, six, <clears throat> six, six Capricorn. This person makes promises that they can't keep to try to patch this relationship up. 
Now, this could be just the energy of them being stagnant or them just being compliant. Maybe you guys have been together for a long time. Maybe this person gets stuck in a rut, right? But I do feel this energy of how you feel is that you feel like you want a new beginning, a new start. But many of you are questioning, like, how do I get, how do I have that new start? You know, the fool's journey is something that's brand spanking new. It is something where, um, you know, it's a, it's a younger, it's a lighthearted energy, but I also fear this energy on you. And I have to just say what it is. And this may trigger some of you. If this is codependency, it's this desire or need of being too old, or I can't move on, or, you know, maybe this is just as good as it gets. Should I stay here because you're afraid to move forward? Maybe you're afraid that it's not going to be any better, but yet you're still angry with this individual. Now, the star Aquarius energy, um, I feel like this person is constantly defending on what they can bring. I feel like they're constantly stating, like, please have hope in me. Please have faith in me. But everything that happens is so short lived. It's like it. I mean, I always think, you know, when I think of the fireworks, most of the time, the fireworks don't last long. Right. It's a short show. There's not usually something long. So I feel like the finale is always fizzle. There's always something short or they have one more. They're like, give me one more shot. Give me one more shot, I hear. Right? Um, trying to build the courage here. Leo energy here. The strength. I feel like your person is, they're trying to, there's something about their hidden emotions. There's something about not feeling good enough. There's something about feeling a little bit defeated in this connection. Um, and they are very guarded, okay? Notice her hands are crossed in this area. So I feel like your person's extremely guarded with their feelings, a little bit sensitive on the side, okay? Could just be an ego sensitive here. Um, but I just feel like they're all talk. Yeah, four, four of wands. Closed off, closed door. Are we going to talk about this? And I, I, I feel like this person doesn't know how to express their feelings, but this is, this is their job to do. <laughs> okay. Their job to do. And I feel in this energy, and I do feel you guys are codependent. I do feel this level of feeling that you need one another in this connection, whether it's stability, whether it's finances, whether it's you've taken care of stuff and this individual has had more of a lighthearted approach in life. There's something here of needing each other's strength, needing each other's strength. And this individual is just hoping to just put it under the rug and that everything's okay. Now, maybe this person grew up in a household like that, but and maybe, you know, you're looking at this level of like, how do I have a new start? It, that looks a little bit scary. That looks a little bit daunting. Is it really going to be better on the other side? But yet you guys are all stuck in the same cycle. This is an endless loop of misery. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, sugarcoat this. <laughs> this is like, you both feel chained to it. It's like, I want to have out. And then this individual is like, but I am being honest. I am being fair, but they're, they're not. They're even lying to themselves. So we have two individuals here who, who are in some way, shape or form, not taking full on accountability for these movements. Six of wands and the three of swords. <clears throat> if you want out Capricorn, why sneak about it? It's like sneaking around, trying to find a way, trying to be victorious out of this. Where another individual is afraid or afraid of being alone, afraid of, of almost dying alone, afraid of heartbreak. Um, this is two people who do need to take accountability. <laughs> I'm, I know I'm going to trigger a shitload of people here, but it, it really is. There, there is two sides of a story here. Um, and it, it, it is two wounded people. It is two wounded people in this connection. And I do feel 
you you are trying to sneak on by trying to be for, trying to find a way trying to find a way but also trying to not deal with the heartbreak either all right a lot of pain here i feel let's see what the outcome cards are i'm going to move these out of the side for a sentence I do feel like there's a big decision need, that needs to be made in this connection. If, if you are truly this unhappy in it, and if there is something in a level of not doing the next step of not being able to communicate, maybe that mediation here is counseling, right? We'll see if we get the higher fun. Don't forget. I do not do reversals on my, uh, <coughs> outcome cards. Eight of coins to the nine of coins is working on your independence. Can you feel strong enough to be on your own? I feel there is a lot of fear. Um, wanting the independence, feeling that you could be better off on your own, scared shitless. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. This is someone here who's a little bit nervous about this, but <clears throat> yeah. Ten of Swords here with the Ace of Swords. But being honest, where is this going? If you can't be honest with one another, how are you going to fix it? How are you going to change this? I do feel Capricorn... You've had these heart to hearts before nine of coins here to the 10 of coins. This is all about independence and then coming together. Like, how do we get through this? I do feel like there's not a lot of vindictiveness going on here. It's empty promises and two people who may have grown apart who are not as happy with one another. Okay. Maybe you have children with one you know, another. You've been in a long-term relationship. This does feel like a long-term relationship. It does feel like there's been some time here, but I also feel <clears throat> there needs to be a true discussion about, are we able to keep this together? Ace of cups to the two of cups. See your person already feels, and, and this happens a lot, guys. This is, this is, this isn't me sugarcoating anything. Sometimes we leave relationships while we're still in them, meaning we shut down if a person, you know, you say over and over and over and over again, you know, they pro make promises, you start doing stuff on your own. I feel Capricorn, you've already started that. Your person knows that you're distance. Your person knows that you want independence and they're just watching. What are they doing? They're waiting for you to make the move. They're waiting for you to make the move. Moon to sun. What is Capricorn going to do? And some of you may feel that is unfair, but this person will not go anywhere. They are literally floating and waiting for you to make the move, which sucks. It is not a good energy. <laughs> it isn't, right? You know, three coins to four coins. This person is hoping that you'll just get over this. Put under the rug. <clears throat> it's not an easy decision for you to make. I'm going to pull one more card here. But the decision is going to be up to you. You know, um, do you want to stay stagnant in this? Are you going to still, if you feel chained, it's going to have to be you that takes charge. Because this individual, oh, here it is. They already know you want to leave. They already know you want a divorce. They already know you want a separation. But it's about, they're not, they're not blind to it. They ain't just, they're just not doing anything. Differences. Fizzled out. 
24 comes to a six. Remember before you had two sixes, now you have three. It is still about transformation. It is a sad ending. I, I feel two people who are really depressed, feeling burnt out. Your person feels defeated. And I, and, I, and I can see the energy of you feeling that way too. But this will remain in an endless loop until someone is ready to make a change. And it is on your side. All right, guys, if this resonated, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget, I also have a free group on Facebook called Harmonia Friends. Um, I sometimes post my exclusive content over there. So if you want to check out some of the free exclusive content, check it out on Facebook. Otherwise, you can become a member of my website. You take care.